That is right. The channel has hit 1,000 subscribers. This is an epic gamer moment. Now, as a celebration for getting 1,000 subscribers, I figured it would only be right to be making a 20 to Dallas 1 themed Hunger Games, where I'll be having all of these characters from all of my videos battled out in the Hunger Games. <laughs> I also swear I saw a comment saying I should do this, but I have no idea where the comment went, <laughs> okay? I, I don't know if I'm going insane or if the person deleted the comment, but I would swear I saw a comment saying I should do a 20 to Dallas 1 Hunger Games. But either way, here we are with, you know, a 20 to Dallas 1 Hunger Games. Now, also, I couldn't have gotten a thousand subscribers if it wasn't for all of you guys. So, I will also be making a fans three Hunger Games very soon. <laughs> so, be looking forward to that. Now, I made a comment in my last video asking for any suggestions for other a thousand subscriber celebration videos I can make. Now, I saw a few suggestions, and I might just make them as normal videos, like not just for a thousand subscribers. But um, so yeah, that's uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be making any other thousand subscriber special things, but. One thing I do know is that I have done something that I was thinking of doing for a while now, and I figured 1,000 subscribers is the most perfect time to do it, and that is a Reddit account. Wait, not a Reddit account, a subreddit. That's what, I'm, I'm small brain. Now, I saw a few suggestions for doing a Discord, but I'm going to be honest, I don't really know how to do Discord. <laughs> I'm kind of a boomer with Discord, but I do know Reddit, though. So, yeah, so I made a subreddit. It's just r slash 20 dollars one and basically it's a place for us to make memes, we could do discussions. We could, you know, have suggestions for all the videos I can make. So if you want to, you can go on the subreddit, make some memes, have some suggestions. But yeah, so if you want to go check that out, it's r slash 20 dollars one I know it's kind of basic. It's just the channel name, but still. So now let's actually get into the Hunger Games simulation. So in District 1, there is 22 Dallas 1, which uh, I, I guess that's me or the channel itself. I don't know. So technically, 22 Dallas 1 wins this Hunger Games. I won a Hunger Games. Then also in District 1, there is Dean. Then in District 2, there is Michael. Also in District 2, there is Matthew. Oh my god, he's a phone again. Oh no, he turned back into a phone. Only true OGs of this channel know that meme. Then in District 3, there is Jake and Mr. Fluffy. A very majestic wabbit. Then in District 4, there is Carrot and Red. Then in District 5, there is King Ronnie. Also in District 5, there is Slothman. I wonder if he'll be vlogging the Hunger Games. Then in District 6, there is Rocky from, you know, my Splunky series. So if you don't know, there's a rock in Splunky, and we call it Rocky. Also in District 6, there is 10-hour globe. That's right, it's the globe that was there for 10 hours. It was just a picture of it, and for some reason, it's one of my most viewed videos. I, I don't know why. It's a freaking 10-hour globe. Then in District 7, there is Cameraman Benson. And I had to choose that photo because, you know, it's the most... It's the most iconic Cameron Benson scene. If you don't know who Cameron Benson is, you should go and watch the Bensons, okay? It's at Lit series. It's actually one of my favorite series I have on my channel. So if you have not seen that already, you should go and watch the Bensons. Cameron Benson, best character. Tender 6 7, there is also Ghost Roaster. Remember when Ghost Roaster took over this channel? I, I remember. Tender 6 8, there is the Honorable, which is the bull that pops up in my top seven videos, where, where like, whenever I have an Honorable mention, I go, the honor bull mention and then I made like a bull noise and I'm like Aah! Also in District 8 there is the skit bear which he's a pretty much just a plush bear that appears in almost every single one of my skits Then in District 9 there is killer elf on the shelf. That is right. The the main Person on my channel to be honest still the killer off on the shelf is my most viewed video Then also in District 9 there is sling kong which um, is another villain from my channel. Not as iconic as the kill off on the shelf. Then in District 10, there is Adnap from my Adnap skit. That's right. It's it's an Adnap. Also in District 10, there is Nutcracker. He has so many nuts to crack. Then in District 11, there is the garlic powder. The possessed garlic powder. Remember the possessed garlic powder? Also in District 11, there is the monkey animatronic. Which uh, is funny because like this is my channel and I have no idea... If I actually gave this guy a name, <laughs> it was just like the main animatronic in my zoo cafe video. And I don't know if I actually gave him a name. I think it might've just been just a monkey animatronic. Then District 12, there is Nicki Minaj from technically my first ever skit. If you think about it. Also in District 12 and our final contestant is Samurai Duck. Now I always have that contestant in these Hunger Games where it's kind of like a really strange, weird, unknown character, right? So... Uh, to be honest, I forgot the Samurai Duck existed. So if any of you guys actually know who the Samurai Duck is, like, 
I don't know how. <laughs> I, I feel like no one watching this video would actually know. But if you do know, comment down below if you know where Samurai Duck is from. It's like one of the most weirdest one-off videos, and it, it's just, it's strange. So if any of you guys actually remember it, comment down below. I doubt anyone does, though. But yeah, those are all the contestants. Let's see who will win the Hunger Games 2001 edition. As a tribute stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Sloth Man grabs a shovel. Ooh, he's getting ready to dig the graves of the other contestants. Monkey Animatronic runs away from the cornucopia. I just realized Monkey Animatronic has to try to kill everyone before it turns 6 a.m. If it turns 6 a.m., he's probably going to get oofed. <laughs> Ten Hour Globe runs away from the cornucopia. Rocky grabs a shovel. Nicki Minaj grabs a jar of fishing bait while the skip bear gets fishing gear. Ooh, our first alliance is here. Killer Elf on the Shelf runs away from the cornucopia. I feel like Killer Elf on the Shelf is going to get the most kills in this. Like, I could just see him killing everyone. Nutcracker snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. Maybe that'll help him crack the nuts. King Ronnie grabs a backpack and retreats. Twenty dollars one finds a bag full of explosives. I found explosives, guys. Don't worry. I'll go and freaking blow people up just like Lord Royal Highness did. Ghost Roaster rips a mace out of Samurai Duck's hand. Wait, what's a mace, though? Isn't mace like a... That, you know... The frickin' thing with the big ball and chain at the end of it, because isn't that literally what Ghost Rosa has? Mr. Fluffy runs away with a lighter and some rope. Matthew runs away from the cornucopia. Cameraman Benson also runs away from the cornucopia. Michael runs through the cornucopia and hides. Sling Kong, Red, Garlic Powder, and Carrot share everything they gather before running. So Red and Carrot are working together. Arnable runs away from the cornucopia. Jake runs to the cornucopia and hides. Dean runs away from the cornucopia. And Adnap also runs away from the cornucopia. Carrot tends to the skip bear's wounds. Cameraman Benson defeats Nicki Minaj in a fight, but spares her life. Yeah, maybe Cameron Benson isn't much of a killer. He's just... just there. Cameron Benson is always watching. King Ronnie stalks Red. Sloth Man explores the arena. He's probably vlogging it. Ghost Roaster goes hunting. Jake discovers a cave. Matthew sprains his ankle while running away from Samurai Duck. Mr. Fluffy and Twenty Dollars One hunts for other tributes. Arnable shoots a poisonous blow dart into Rocky's neck, slowly killing him. Ooh, Arnable is a gangster. He's coming out with the first kill of the simulation. And of course it's Rocky. I guess Rocky couldn't defend himself. He is a rock. Also, what neck? <laughs> what the frick? Monkey Animatronics shoots an arrow at Kill Off on the Shelf, but misses and kills Garlic Powder instead. Kill Off on the Shelf is not dying this early, okay? Also, Rip the Garlic Powder. He was just, like, probably watching as a freaking ghost, and then just, bam, out of nowhere. <laughs> Dean receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Michael tends to Sling Kong's wounds. Nutcracker tries to spear a fish with a trident. Nutcracker, why don't you just crack the fish's nuts? Adnap tries to spear a fish with a trident. And 10-hour globe constructs a shack. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Rocky and Garlic Powder. Nutcracker goes to sleep. Twenty dollars one sets up camp for the night. Killer Elf on the Shelf starts a fire. Jake receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Is it the orange? Is it the skinny pop? Matthew questions his sanity. Yeah, I guess he is a phone. Cameraman Benson receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Dean, Mr. Fluffy, Monkey Animatronic, Michael, and Adnap sleep in shifts. The Skip Bear tries to sing himself to sleep. Nicki Minaj lets Sling Kong into her shelter. Red loses sight of where she is. Ghost Rooster sees a fire, but stays hidden. Samurai Duck and Slothman talk about the tribute still alive. Ten Hour Globe attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Carrot destroys King Ronnie's supplies while he is asleep. And Honorable attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Monkey Animatron tries to sleep for the entire day. Red makes a wooden spear. Slothman thinks about home. Ah, yes, the home that was once taken over by an evil chicken. <laughs> King Ronnie dies from hunger. Oh, rip King Ronnie. Nicki Minaj constructs a shack. Matthew receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. What do phones eat? Ghost Roaster forces Kill Off on the Shelf to kill Dean or Mr. Fluffy. He decides to kill Mr. Fluffy. I'm surprised Kill Off on the Shelf didn't want to kill Dean, being as, you know, Dean actually helped kill Off on the Shelf. <laughs> Nutcracker receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Do you receive nuts? Arnable tends to Samurai Duck's wounds. Sling Kong receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Jake, the Skip Bear, Carrot, Twenty Dollars One, and Michael hunt for other tributes. Cameron Benson receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. He's gonna magically turn the water into yogurt. He's gonna pull some Cameron Benson moves. Adnap kills Ten Hour Globe for his supplies. Adnap needs to show that the power of the Adnap tribe is strong. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. King Ronnie, Mr. Fluffy, and Ten Hour Globe. The Skip Bear catches Dean off guard and kills him. Jake and Adnap hold hands. Is Jake secretly an adnap? Nutcracker climbs a tree to rest. 
bro, there's music outside right now. There's like a freaking party next door and I don't want to get copyrighted from having background music. Who's having a party in the coronavirus? Bruh. Honorable and Samurai Duck talk about the tribute still alive. Nicki Minaj and Slothman tell stories about themselves to each other. Monkey Amatronic sets an explosive off, killing 20 that was one, Ghost Roaster, and Killer Elf from the Shelf. Well, first of all, I'm dead. And Killer Elf from the Shelf is out of this already. And I feel like it's also only right for him to die by an explosion, just like the Killer Elf from the Shelf skit. Sling Kong and Red tell stories about themselves to each other. Matthew receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Carrot looks at the night sky. Michael goes to sleep. And Cameraman Benson receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor, probably yogurt. Nicki Minaj discovers a cave. Matthew, Red, and Monkey Animatronic get into a fight. Red triumphantly kills them both. Bruh, Bruh. a guinea pig just killed two people. <laughs> Adnap makes a slingshot. The skip bear makes a wooden spear. And Jake thinks about home. Arnable receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Nutcracker receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Sling Kong stalks Cameraman Benson. I would expect it to be the other way around. Slothman discovers a cave. A lot of people are discovering caves. Samurai ducks see smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Carrot camouflages herself in the bushes. Michael questions his sanity. <laughs> Six cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Dean. <laughs> 20 dollars one. Ghost Roaster. Kill off on the shelf. Matthew. And Monkey Animatronic. Nicki Minaj receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Bro, Nicki Minaj doesn't even need a freaking weapon. He could just use the butt. Do I see my butt? <laughs> Sling Kong, Nutcracker, Red, Adnap, and Slothman track down and kill Carrot. Red, I didn't think you'd help everyone else kill Carrot. I expected them to be a team. Michael and Cameron Benson tell stories about themselves to each other. This skip bear tries to sing himself to sleep. Arnable receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Jake and Samurai Duck hold hands. Adnap travels to higher ground. Jake, Cameron Benson, Red, and Samurai Duck raid Michael's camp while he is hunting. Slothman defeats Nicki Minaj in a fight, but spares her life. Yeah, I can't really see Slothman actually killing people. Arnable discovers a river. Nutcracker tries to sleep through the entire day. And the Skip Bear and Sling Kong work together for the day. Oh my god, we have an event. King Ghidorah farts in the arena. If you don't know what this is a reference to, it's from a really old video of King Ghidorah farting with Godzilla. It, it was very strange. It made no sense. I don't know why I made it a thing. My brain was small back then. My brain is still small now, but my brain was like freaking, freaking microscopic. But that actually ended up becoming my most viewed video for a while. I don't, I don't know why or how. I guess a lot of people are looking up King Ghidorah farting. Jake runs away from the smell. Samurai Duck dies from the stench. Sloth man runs away from the smell. Yes, you have to go and make more vlogs. He must survive. Red runs away from the smell. Michael and Nutcracker die by the horrible smell. I don't even think Nutcracker was able to crack anyone's nuts. Adnap runs away from the smell. And Cameraman Benson dies from the stench. Now, Cameron Benson may have had some smelly poops and farts, but none have been as smelly as the King Ghidorah's farts. Nicki Minaj runs away from the smell. The Skip Bear and Arnable die by the horrible smell. And Sling Kong runs away from the smell. Seven cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Carrot, Samurai Duck, Michael, Nutcracker, Cameron Benson, the Skip Bear, and Arnable. Red severely injures Slothman and leaves him to die. Nicki Minaj, Adnap, and Jake cheerfully sing songs together. And Sling Kong sets up camp for the night. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs for the tribute's families. Sling Kong shoots an arrow into Nicki Minaj's head. Adnap decides not to go to the feast. Red also decides not to go to the feast. And Jake bleeds out due to untreated injuries. What injuries? Did he eat too much toxic waste for a Challenger's Way video? Adnap overhears Sling Kong and Red talking in the distance. So here are the final contestants. It's Adnap, Sling Kong, and Red. So who will win? Will it be Adnap, who is part of this very strong Adnap cult? Or will it be Sling Kong, who is technically the only villain from a skit to actually win? Or will it be Red, a freaking guinea pig? So three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Slothman, Nicki Minaj, and Jake. Adnap passes out from exhaustion. And Sling Kong tends to Red's wounds. Red begs for Adnap to kill her. He refuses, keeping Red alive. See, I would expect Adnap to kill Red, but I, I guess Adnap is kind of like, well, you're a guinea pig, so what could you do? You cannot handle the power of an Adnap. And Sling Kong picks flowers. Red begs for Sling Kong to kill her. He refuses, keeping Red alive. Why is Red asking for everyone to kill her? Adnap tries to sing himself to sleep. Red injures herself. Sling Kong thinks about home, and Adnap discovers a cave. Wait, Sling Kong, what home? You talking about the freaking the Sling Kong video game? Red and Sling Kong hold hands. And Adam receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. You know, no one is freaking dying. 
Sling Kong receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Red receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. And Adnap fishes. Red sees a fire, but stays in. Sling Kong ambushes Adnap and kills him. I didn't expect Adnap to die to Sling Kong. And Red dies trying to escape the arena. The two can trust me heard in the distance. Adnap and Red. So the winner is Sling Kong from District 5. I mean, I, I guess this makes sense. Sling Kong, I guess, doesn't lose. Technology will take over! He never gets the game over. So here are all of the placements. So Sling Kong had three kills and kill off the shelf with only one kill. I expected him to have the most kills. But the one with the most kills was actually red. <laughs> a guinea pig. But anyways, that is it for this Hunger Games Simulator video. So thank you all for a thousand subscribers. And remember, a fan's three Hunger Games will be coming out soon. And uh, also remember, go check out the subreddit, Pointed Alice one or r slash Pointed Alice one I don't know how you supposed to type it in, but go check it out. Go join the subreddit. Go post some memes. And uh, yeah, I guess that for this video, Sling Kong is your winner. Goodbye.